This video tutorial will cover the steps of importing an existing ModFlow version 88, 96, or 2000 simulation. GMS uses its own modified ModFlow file format. ModFlow simulations imported into GMS or generated from within GMS will be saved to this modified format. To import a ModFlow simulation, first look at the model files to determine their format, which then determines how they should be imported. The first thing to look for when importing a ModFlow simulation into GMS is a GMS project file, which has a GPR extension. This project file can be opened directly by double-clicking on it in the Windows Explorer. If a GMS project is not found, the next thing to look for is a file with an MFS extension, which is a ModFlow superfile. If such a file is found, then it's almost certain the files were created by GMS. A ModFlow superfile can be opened from GMS by selecting the Open Macro and browsing to the desired MFS file. If the ModFlow model being imported came from GMS 6.0 or earlier, GMS will bring up the ModFlow translator. The ModFlow translator is new for GMS 7.0. The ModFlow translator uses a modified version of ModFlow 2000 to read the input files and do the conversion. As a result, GMS can generally read and import whatever the ModFlow model can read. As the translator runs, each translated package is shown in the translator output. A successful translation will end with the output string ModFlow 2000 terminated successfully. In the absence of an MFS file, the next thing to look for is a file with the NAM extension, also called a name file. A simulation with a name file can be opened in GMS again by selecting the Open File Macro and browsing to the desired name file. GMS again launches the ModFlow translator. And if the imported ModFlow simulation is formatted for ModFlow 96 or earlier versions, then the conversion happens through a two-step process. First, a utility is run to convert the simulation to ModFlow 2000. Then, the files are run through the modified version of ModFlow 2000. A few notes about importing ModFlow 96 or ModFlow 88 simulations. In the process, it's possible that the grid elevations weren't defined. So after importing the simulation, check the grid elevations and make edits as necessary. Another note to remember, to specify confining bed layers, simply check the layers where that will apply. So in general, ModFlow simulations created in other software programs can be imported into GMS by exporting the simulation to native ModFlow text files and then importing using the same steps we've covered. This concludes this tutorial on importing native ModFlow files. For more information, please visit aquaveo.com.